Hello everyone. Have you ever observed yourself in a spoon? If not, then do it quickly. What did you observe? That's right. Your image appears upside down in a spoon. But have you ever thought why is your reflection upside down in a spoon? This is because of the sharp inward curve of the spoon. Let's see the science behind this. The surface of the spoon is curved inwards both from the top to bottom and side to side. Thus a spoon acts as a concave mirror. A concave mirror is a mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. Being curved inwards it reflects or bounces back the light rays in a different manner. When you see yourself in a spoon the light rays from your head falls on the top of the spoon and gets reflected downwards while the light rays from your toes fall on the bottom of the spoon's curved surface and gets reflected upwards spoon acts as a very small concave mirror so its focus is somewhere close focus of the mirror is the point where all these light rays meet after reflection thus the light rays have passed the focal point and crossed over before they reach you so the rays from the top of the reflection is at the bottom of what your eyes is seeing since what we see is where the light came from you see your toes above your head that is an upside down image one thing to notice here that when you stand beyond the focal point only then you will be able to see an inverted image of yourself however if you stand before the focal point the image formed will be upright let's have a look at some of the common uses of concave mirror you might have observed that concave mirror are most commonly used in shaving in ophthalmoscopes etc the concave mirror forms an enlarged and erect image of the face when the mirror is held closer to the face during shaving in this case the face is placed before the focal point of the concave mirror ophthalmoscope consists of a concave mirror with a hole in the center the doctor sees through the small hole from behind the concave mirror and the light beam is directed into the pupil of the patient's eye this makes the retina visible and the doctor can easily check the patient's eyes concave mirrors are also used in automobiles and motor vehicle headlights torch lights etc as reflectors the source of light is placed at the focus of the mirror so after reflecting the light rays travel over a huge distance as parallel light beams of high intensity i hope you have understood how the concave mirror works and where it is used thank you happy learning